Hi guys, how do you go about preparing for IP mat indoor in about 60, 65 days, 66 days, right? Uh, so the first important information that you ought to know is that uh, this year they have told us the time for the paper is going to increase. So each section is going to be given 40, 40, 40 minutes instead of 30, 30, 30 minutes. There is an improvement from before. Last year the paper was... Uh, 30 questions in verbal ability, 30 in quant, split across two sections. Uh, MCQ had a multiple choice question, had 20 questions and 10 questions were in the form of short answers. Even in the middle bunch, which is 20 questions in multiple choice questions, there is one subsection where there are five questions based on one DI puzzle. This is overall information that we know so far. One piece of information that has changed is the amount of time for each section. In, from 30, 30, 30, now it has become 40, 40, 40. You might have slightly that much more time to solve this paper right so so with that we will we'll start on to how do we go about this right aim strategically right super important in an exam like this it is more of a test of temperament than checking how well you are and are you a master of the english language are you a doyen and math none of that it is more of a temperament based exam definitely check out this there is going to be a video that pops up here it talks about there's something called as ats score right i am indoor offers a ats score so your 40 marks or 50 marks in your verbal section need not exactly translate to 50 marks in the verbal section in the final count right your 35 marks in the quant section need not translate to 35 marks in the final weightage right how important something is how less how more important something is all of that has been elaborately discussed in that video so definitely check that out and strategize your preparation i am sure a bunch of you who are preparing for your plus two exams are already going through blueprint and uh section say consa question i got 10 mark 16 mark you would have done all of that definitely do that for this as well it is super helpful how to prepare for the quantitative aptitude right uh, one definitely check out the blueprint there is a blueprint video once again it will pop up here maybe pause open it on a new tab and then check it out later right it talks about what are the different major partitions of the quant section and which is more important which is less important and all of that so definitely check that video out right that being said we have very limited number of days so you got to test yourself practice a lot learn practice the moment you practice analyze see what is going wrong sometimes you feel like you are looking at the solution and i'm getting the solution i know i understand this but when you are trying to solve it on your own you are not getting it right right then then figure out what could be the gap is it a gap in the learning part or is it a gap in uh, implementing something so figure out what is that gap and fix that gap right optimize is what I mentioned now and then repeat keep solving revision is super 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 crucial right uh, in case you want to know more about revision check out there is going to be a video that pops up here there's something called as art of revision again the link will also be in the description you can check us out there as well right revision is super important I, I, I am sure I don't have to tell plus two kids plus one kids the importance of revision I hope you guys know it already but definitely spend enormous amount of time in the second half of your preparation revising a lot because you can learn 35 new topics in the next 60 days but it is not going to be useful at all if you don't revise at all so make sure you spend some amount of time in terms of helping you revise and recollect the ideas make them set in your brain right how to prepare for vrc vrc is slightly more straightforward in the ip mat because about three questions technically appear from reading comprehension overall about six questions uh, out of the six questions in reading comprehension out of the 30 odd questions three are based on verbal ability in some form only three are hardcore reading comprehension questions right but that does not give us the freedom to not read a lot right you got to read a lot because there are idioms and phrases there are grammar grammar based questions and then there are vocab based questions these questions you will get better if you read a lot right so verbal ability forms the majority of the entire vrc section practice a lot solve a lot of questions see if you can find some patterns, figure out ideas in terms of idioms and phrases. If, let's say if there are 10,000 different idioms and phrases in the English language, I'm sure you cannot memorize or go through all of them and remember the meanings. But the, the more you read or go through idioms and phrases, you will get the hang of what could this be about? Right? That is that, that idea of what do I think about this is super critical. And I think you, you, you can build that skill in two months definitely possible definitely go for it uh, 
data interpretation it is not a separate section but that being said data interpretation can be a make or break for your IPMAT exam because data interpretation gives you one puzzle usually followed by five questions so if you get that one puzzle right then your five questions done you add two three more questions in quant then your cutoffs are clear right so so data interpretation can be a make or break thing so definitely practice a bunch of data interpretation questions also practice your games and tournaments some basic uh, seating arrangement type logical reasoning questions because these questions even though it is data driven could be could have some element of logical reasoning sitting inside that and and practice a lot because the more you practice you will get a hang of while looking at the question you will realize am i able to solve this question or is it not in my comfort zone at all because that is super important if you are not in the comfort zone skip di up front and solve only the remaining 15 questions and get as many as right if 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 you feel like hey this type of question i want to attempt and i feel like i can get this right definitely go for it and attempt but make sure you don't spend more than about 10 minutes out of the 40 minute window solving da questions because otherwise you are throwing everything away for five questions not worth it right don't spend more than 10 minutes in solving this da question inside the uh, paper take mocks regularly i hope you guys would have done n number of revision exams for your board exams right uh, you guys know the importance of mocks right uh, how does the paper work what is the structure of the paper how much time am i able to spend how am i able to answer questions under pressure am i dealing it well not dealing it well am i crumbling how do i fix that all of that you will get through only if you solve a bunch of mocks definitely solve a bunch of them at least five plus mocks you have to solve because otherwise you are setting up yourself for failure so don't do that make sure spend enormous amount of time taking a mock and then analyzing a mock if you are taking mock takes you two hours analyzing should take definitely more than two hours you should look at every single question whether you attempted them or not attempted them not attempted them and figure out can I attempt this? Have I learned this topic? Should I attempt this question? Is there something that made me not attempt this? Or why did I get this wrong? All of these processes you have to go through during analysis, analysis of mocks and, and make the most out of your mock taking experience. Because mock taking is super useful. It is very necessary, not superfluous. It is super necessary to take a bunch of mocks to get the hang of the paper and be able to uh, crack this exam out of shape. have some form of schedule having a schedule is super useful we'll also share a link in the description there's going to be a schedule link you can download the schedule and check us out and everything right plan your preparation accordingly having a schedule is super useful i know that you guys are looking forward to your board exams and preparing seriously for that right but but whenever you can let's say you have eight more days for your next computer science exam which means we all know you're not going to prepare for all eight days for your computer science exam which means in the preceding six days or five days spend at least two hours every day focusing on ipm and then the, the last two days you you the run up to this exam you you go and prepare your computer science exam right this is just one example i wanted to share so that you know having a set amount of time and doing it diligently doing it regularly is super helpful right uh, think about every day 8 30 to 9 30 i'm going to read something 9 30 to 10 30 i'm going to solve a bunch of questions that should be super 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 useful so definitely do do that 2am offers a fantastic IPMAT crash course, right? We have about 65 hours plus 67 hours of live classes available. It is going to happen the moment your board exam gets over until I am indoor exam happens. And then we'll continue some more until Rothak exam happens and all of that. Uh, I hope Rothak exam dates will change, hopefully, because right now it is very close to your board exams if I'm not mistaken. Right, uh, we'll also keep you posted if there are any date changes that happen and everything. Right, definitely check us out. There's a link in the description. You can sign up for our webinar, right? Uh, we will offer enough information on how to tackle this exam, how to make your child prepare really well for this exam, what others are doing, how you should be, uh, is a course necessary, is a crash course necessary, or do you not need any course, how do I, how do you prepare for free, anything and everything about IPMAT, what are the career options post IPMAT, all of that we will be discussing, the, the link for registration of the webinar is available in the description, please check that out and take value from this, free webinar session that we are offering. All the best guys, cheers.